Want to speak real English from your first lesson? Sign up for your free lifetime account at EnglishClass101.com. Hi, everybody. My name is Alicia. In this lesson, I'm going to talk about three verbs. I'm going to talk about the difference between answer, reply, and respond. So let's get started. Okay, first, let's take a look at the verb answer, to answer. The meaning of the verb to answer is one, to react to a question. So a simple question. What time is it? What's your name? How are you? Those are simple questions. So when we react to that, like 12 o'clock, Alicia, I'm good. Those are all answers and we can say, I answered the question in response. So we can use it in that way but we can also use it when we're taking tests, tests or examinations. When we include or we choose uh, an answer as a noun, when we choose something on the test and we mark that, that's called answering a question on a test. So we use answer for like verbal questions and written questions, but we also use it for test questions too. So this is good to keep in mind. When you're answering something, you're answering some question or there's some, some question, some inquiry that you're reacting to. So there's something that's like a question being posed. That's a good thing to keep in mind for this verb. Also, we use answer for these two cases. When we pick up the phone, so there's an incoming phone call, your phone is ringing. When you pick up the phone, we use the verb answer to describe that. We say to answer the phone, please answer your phone. We also use it when guests come to our homes or to our offices or to other locations. When the guest arrives at the door or at the reception um, or there's some kind of door area um, where you need to receive your guests, we use the verb answer to refer to opening the door and greeting the guest. So if someone knocks on the door to announce they have arrived at your home, you go to the door, open it. We say that's called answering the door. So please answer the door. Our guests are here. So to answer the door is to open the door when guests arrive. To answer your phone is to pick up the phone when your phone rings. So these are a couple other ways that we use the verb answer. Let's look at some examples now too. All right, first one, please answer the questions. Please answer the questions. We could use this for a test. We could use this in like a discussion as well. Please answer the questions. This is a very simple base way to use, a basic way to use answer. Here for a test, answer all questions within 30 minutes. So here's a command, answer all questions within 30 minutes on a test probably. Here's a negative example, he didn't answer. In this case, he didn't answer his phone. So if you call someone and the other person does not pick up the phone, they don't answer their phone, this is how you can explain that. He didn't answer. And we remove this part, he didn't answer, because from the situation it's quite clear. He didn't answer his phone. We know it's his phone because you were on the phone. So he didn't answer. We can use it in this way. Okay. Now, that's answer. Let's take a look at reply next. Reply. Reply is used to, uh, to mean to react to a statement or a question. So someone says something, someone poses a question, asks a question. To react to that, we can use the verb reply, or rather, we can use reply to refer to our reaction to that thing. So we'll see in just a moment. Reply is not as formal as respond. Actually, from these verbs, when I'm emailing, uh, I tend to use reply in my emails a lot more. Thank you very much for your reply, for, uh, for example. So that's used as a noun, uh, but you can use it as a verb. So like, please reply at your earliest convenience, for example, you could use that too in emails. That's what I tend to use. Anyway, some examples of using reply here. First, she replies to emails really quickly. So meaning she reacts to people's emails really quickly and by do and she therefore returns the statement. She she gives something back. She replies. Another example, he never replied to my message. This is past tense. So I sent a message to someone. I did not receive a reaction. So I can say he never replied to my message. 
Here's another one. We also use this in writing, like in novels and books, to describe someone's reaction. A question. What time is it? 12 o'clock, he replied. So you'll see this in books. Uh, lots of storytelling uses reply as well. Reply and response uh, or respond as a verb um, in more formal situations. But reply is kind of like a basic sort of neutral level reaction to something. So I tend to use reply uh, as a noun and as a verb a lot in my email writing. Okay, let's move along to respond then. So respond also, like reply, it means to react to a statement or a question. So these two have that same meaning. However, respond sounds a bit more formal than reply. So if you use uh, respond in like a text message to your friend, uh, like please respond to my message or please respond by tomorrow, it might sound too formal. Reply is probably better when you're texting your friends, like please reply to the invitation by tomorrow. Sounds much more natural. Respond would be good at work when you're using um, like work email for something or when you're on the phone as well. So using this is much better for like business situations. Also, respond has an additional meaning that's not uh, related exactly to communication. Respond can also mean to have a good reaction to something, to have a good reaction to something. So I'll share some examples of this, uh, but this is not the focus meaning for this lesson, but I'll introduce some examples. Okay, so let's look at examples of this part. First, I need to respond to that email. I need to respond to that email. Maybe you're telling your boss, I need to respond to that email from the client. It sounds a little more formal. It sounds a little more important. Another one, a question. Have you responded to those inquiries yet? Have you responded to those inquiries yet? So you receive like client inquiries or customer inquiries. An inquiry is a question. So have you responded to those inquiries yet? Another one, a negative. They're not going to respond. They're not going to respond. So this is, you're making a guess, a good, probably a strong guess. The other party or maybe the client, the customer is not going to respond. They're not going to react to something. Okay, so as I mentioned, respond does have this other meaning of reacting favorably, reacting well to something. So we use them for um, like public reactions to things. We can use them a lot for medicine, like treatments and so on. Uh, so here's one. She responded well to treatment. She responded well to treatment. This doesn't mean she said something or she wrote something. It means she received some treatment. She's sick. So she received some treatment, some medicine of some kind, and her body was happy about the treatment. There was a good response. Her body responded well. So there was a good reaction in her body. That's what this means. Here, second example sentence, I think the public will respond well to this policy. So this is a prediction. The speaker is making a guess. So they have this new policy. The speaker thinks the public, the general people out there in that society, will respond well. In other words, they will have a good reaction to this new policy. So this use of response is a little different from kind of reacting to a statement or reacting to a question. It's actually having a good reaction to something. So it's slightly different and you might see this in the news uh, a lot too. So keep an eye out for that. Okay, so this is a basic introduction to the differences between answer, reply, and respond. I hope it was helpful for you. Of course, if you have any questions or comments, or if you want to try to make an example sentence, please feel free in the comment section of this video. Also, don't forget to give us a thumbs up, uh, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and check us out at EnglishClass101.com for other good English study tools. Thanks very much for watching this lesson, and I will see you again next time. Bye-bye.